Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. This is part two of the interview series for experienced folks, which can help you to clear Power BI job interviews on experienced level. If you are new here, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified. All right, let's start with the first question. Why do we need calculated columns if measures are more efficient? The answer for this question is, calculated columns once created will have the physical lineage and it can be used same as all other columns in the table. For example, creating relationships with other tables or using them as slicer to filter the table. Okay, next question is, what is the purpose behind marking a table as a date table in Power BI? And the answer is, when you mark a table as a date table, Power BI asks which column contains the dates of the calendar. This is required because the engine adds remote filters every time you apply a filter on that specific column. Once you mark the date table as a date table, the results become correct again. All right, let's move on to the next question. Why total seems to be wrong in below Power BI visual. How can you correct this? The answer is, it is actually not wrong. On country level, it is calculating distinct number of products. And at the total level, it is calculating overall distinct number of products. But if we want to show some of all the distinct counts of products from the countries, we can use below expression, which will first calculate all the distinct number of products, and some x function will iterate over this table to provide an aggregate sum of all these values. What is the difference between direct query mode and a live connection mode? And the answer is, direct query is a direct connection to data sources, like SQL Server, Oracle, IBM whereas a live connection is a direct connection to the analysis services model such as Azure AS, SSAS Tabular, Multidimensional, or with a Power BI dataset. In such connections, we only get the metadata information about the tables or the model, and visuals queries are directly sent to the actual data source for execution. Next question is, why a Power BI dashboard is not interactive? The answer for this question is, a dashboard tile is just the snapshot of your data. And if we think about a dashboard in Power BI, there can be multiple tiles pinned from reports back by different datasets, where there are no relationships between different pinned visuals on the dashboard. So, interactions with each other are not possible. And due to this, unlike a Power BI report, this feature is not available for Power BI dashboards. Okay, how to do reporting with very large datasets in Power BI? And the answer for this question is, we can handle large datasets in various ways. At first, we can use direct query connection, use of aggregate tables, hybrid table, or creating and connecting with a separated analysis service model. We should also apply hot and cold data technique, where we aggregate the cold data with higher granularity, which may not be frequently required. All right, let's move on to the next question. What is the use of Power BI template files and how do you create it? And the answer is, with Power BI desktop templates, you can streamline your work by creating a report template based on an existing template, which you or other users in your organization can use as a starting point for a new reports layout, data model, and queries. To create a template file, we can just click on File and then Export, and then Export as Power BI desktop template. Let's discuss about a wrong DAX measure. Can you tell what is wrong in this expression? Add columns function works on all the rows of the table, and we need to wrap the expression inside calculate to do context transition, which will convert row context into filter context. And it will calculate store counts for each country in the context. These questions may not be directly asked, but if you have that level of understanding, I can assure you that you will definitely impress the interviewer. All right, next question is, what are the benefits of using variables in DAX? And the answer is, variables are useful not only for better readability of the DAX expressions, but it can also be used to split the execution into logical steps, easier debugging of the codes, and for better performance. In DAX, variable name can be confusing because the values which it holds are actually constant and can't be changed. So it actually calculates an expression and stores its constant value. Now, the last question from this interview series is, what are the different types of gateways used in Power BI? And the answer is, once we publish Power BI report to a Power BI service, 
its dataset gets stored into Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. And if we want to refresh our datasets where we have used on-premise data sources, we need to use an on-premise or personal data gateway. In some cases, a cloud data source also may require a different type of gateway called VN Gateway or Virtual Network Gateway. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and post your feedback and suggestions in comment box.